Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Kermit Trent. Changing it up today, I'm going to be talking about textured acrylic paintings. This is a painting I just finished and the, the actual demo will be up on my other acrylic channel called Amazing Art. You can click on my homepage on YouTube and you will see that page and go over there and check it out. But so today I'm going to talk about how I go about getting these lovely thick textures you see on this canvas. So let's get started. So, well, you might buy paints like this that are thick body paint, and you can generally use a lot of it, like you see on my palette here, and place it down. But to get to real true texture, you gotta use this stuff. It's called flexible molding paste. You mix this paste with your paint. It will give it a slightly lighter hue because it's kind of white. As you see how I mixed, um, I will show you a snippet of the video, some of the, the paste with this uh, red, and it made it a little more pink. But it's gonna give it this really thick, pasty, kind of almost like cake decorating frosting. And then you take your palette knives and you go about placing it on the painting. Now I've used several palette knives in this painting. Um, I don't know the names of these because they're actually not written, but the, you can tell by there's a small little rounded top one here, a skinnier one here. That's kind of long. I didn't use this one, which I use in a lot of my videos. And you know, to mix up the paint, I use the palette knives. In the beginning of the video, you see me paint uh, a solid color in the background. How I did this was with two paints. I used the basic acrylic from Liquitex, which is a uh, light blue violet and white. I paint down the solid ground and then I go into letting that dry and I start using all the colors that I need for these flowers and leaves and greenery with the paint and the, the molding paste. It's a great new tool to use if you're trying to achieve something that has um, a little more thick grit to it, especially if you have paints like this that are not thick. And even the heavy body acrylics um, generally do not tend to become as thick as you'd want it to lay, and they might have a little shininess to them. And this uh, molding paste makes it matte. So let me show you a snippet of that video. To give you an idea of the cool textures you can create using that paste and paint. This was a ocean one I did. This is up on that channel also. It's a lot of fun. Um, I have this another floral one here. Not as thick as the other ones, but still a lot of texture. Here's one, another floral that's kind of similar, all in purples. Nice way to go about it. This one was just using the palette knife and not the molding paste. This is a birch tree. So you can create a lot of texture and fun by using thick paint piling on top of each other. Okay, so here I'm using the light blue violet. As you see, I'm dotting it down. And I'll be adding some white paint along here. And then I'm gonna just take a flat, simple brush and I'm just gonna mix the paint together on the canvas itself, creating that um, periwinkle blue tone. I've spit it up here so that you don't get bored, but not any of you just painting the paint onto the canvas, but it's pretty simple, straightforward. Just make it back and forth until it's nice and flat and one solid color. Okay, now I'm adding the molding paste, which I talked about. I'll take my palette knife and I'll scoop some of that up in there like you should see, and I'll put it on the palette where all the paints are. You can see that. And I'll grab the paint and I'll start mixing it. And you can see how it becomes much lighter pink. And it gets much thicker just by using um, this particular medium mixed in with my paint. And then I'll grab one of my other smaller palette knives and I'll begin to start to put down the flowers in, that you see. So here you see me, I sped this up, um, the initial flowers I'm sticking down. It's that pink reddish color I mixed in with the molding paste. And I'm just throwing down some of these um, flowers 
that I love to do with the palette knife. And the next um, slide, I'm going to show you how I do it some more, much more slowly. This is just a fast way of just throwing down the color, and you can see how I moved it all around. Okay, so here I'm showing you very slowly how I just scoop up the paint and push it down with the palette knife. Really slow, just doing here and there. And that's how I just put the paint down. I just grab it, put it down, grab some color. It doesn't matter if the color is solid or not. Um, I'm not really concerned about that. I just like the texture and the feeling that the flower is going to convey. And I'll just keep putting it down. So here I sped it up, um, putting the flowers just randomly all around the canvas in different colors, um, oranges, reds, and yellows. And then shortly that after I'll be doing grabbing the greens and um, putting in some stems. Now I've got that longer, skinnier, pointier palette knife I'm using and I'm basically putting the paint on the sides of the palette knife and then pulling down on it. Let me just show you slowly. So here I show you slowly how I take that palette knife on the edge and just pull it down. Put the paint on there and just pull it down. And it might not hit every single part of the canvas, but I'm getting that movement, that texture. Um, you get the general direction of where I want the stems to go. And I'm just pulling it down. And then I'll use the same knife later on and just throw in some leaves. Um, I won't put it on the side. I'll put it face down and just put in these little fast leaves. So I pretty much put in a lot of the greenery. I'm just throwing in some, I just sped this video up, um, more colors to sh indicate blooms. Again, with the reds and the oranges and the yellows. I'll go back in um, towards the end and I'll add in the centers. Um, some, I'll add some white blooms, some white centers to the yellow daisies and then um, some brown centers to the white daisies, almost black, actually black. Um, and then mix some more colors in, as you see here. This is a fun thing to do. I mean, there's no right or wrong with this. You're just throwing paint down on the canvas with that palette knife, moving it all around, getting that feeling of wildflowers in the field with a lot of texture. Um, you know, that when you're mixing colors together, it's not the solid color, it has that movement feel to it. More expressive. See how you see me putting in the white? Uh, for the yellow daisies and then just putting some white you know wildflowers all around as well it's just fun you can do as many colors as you want here um, I had a limited palette and I have the colors that I used in the description box that you click on show more on the YouTube video and you'll see the description of all the paints that I used and also the other channel so you can click on that and see the the whole entire painting in its entirety And here's the finished piece 
that was on the other channel. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Well, I hope you enjoyed that short little video of um, learning about acrylic and palette knife painting. These are some of the paintings that I've done with some palette knives and some of that molding paste. Um, it's a lot of fun to do. You should try it out once in a while. Something new. Change up your repertoire. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out the other channel. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Have a great day.